Elisar. I am Elisar Darius, your base and sophomore students of Liti Normal University, San Isidro Campus, under Total Quality Management subject. Here is my video recitation presentation of the following task. What is TQM? TQM is a core definition of Total Quality Management. It describes a management approach to a long-term success through customer satisfaction in a TQM effort. All members of an organization participate in improving processes, products, services, and the culture in which they work. What are the key elements of TQM? The key elements of TQM are customer focus, total employee involvement, process-centered, integrated system, strategic and systematic approach, continual improvement, fact-based decision-making, and communication. Explain the important points of the news. So first, Create constancy of purpose. Long-term thinking and understanding of the organization is a system are required for a constancy of purpose. Can ask to do with forming organization that delegate decision-making to those who are close to the action. The people who know the most about the situation. Number two, adapt a new philosophy. Put your customer needs first rather than react to a competitive pressure. And desired product and services to meet those needs. Be prepared for a major change in a way business that. Number three, cease inspection recute evidence. To obtain quality, stop replying an inspection. Number four, improve of supplies. To improve product, food and make them free of, mi of many shortcomings of the flex. Product's quality implies incorporating characteristics that have the capacity to meet requirements once and provide customer satisfaction by enhancing products and goods. Number five, improve production. In manufacturing, continuous improvement is taking established production process, unlocking for many methods to improve incrementally. One that can quickly cut waste, optimize operation, and ultimately produce better product faster and at less cost. Number six, train and educate employees. Employee education is one of the most effective strategy to promote positive attitude among employees. Number seven, supervisors must help people. The supervisor's overall responsibility is to explain organizational needs, supervise employees, performance, provide direction, support ident identity, the growth needs, and manage the reciprocal connection between self and the organization. To ensure that both are successful. Number eight, drive out fear. So that everyone will work efficiently for the form. Point eight of the next. Famous 14 points of management is drive fear out. Making it a high priority issue from the inventory to lean manufacturing and total quality management. Number nine, eliminate boundaries. Boundaries inside an organization to reduce the cost of regional business speed, flexibility, and integration. Number 10. Eliminate the use of slogan. Remove slogan exhortation and post to the workforce, such as zero faults and increase productivity slogan allow you to express your concerns for quality without actually displaying it. Number 11. Eliminate numerical standards. Work standards that are based solely in numbers overlook the fact that work standards must deliver not just one. Number 12. Let people be proud of your work. Employees who have a highly feeling personal achievement as a result of their work are more proud their employers. Number 13. Encourage self-improvement. By one's own effort, one increase one's knowledge, status, or character. Number 14. Commit to over improving quality. Our quality policy is understood, known, and implemented by all personnel in their daily operations. We endeavor to produce products and services. And lastly, how can you satisfy the customer? To satisfy the customer is to fulfill their needs and wants by putting customer's first priority in the act of service, products, and dealing customers being responsible. That's all and thank you.